How soon could we see a Moderna approval? Well, agency advisors are meeting right now and will vote on whether to recommend emergency use authorization before a final FDA decision. Here to discuss is nurse manager of the biocontainment unit at Johns Hopkins Medicine in Baltimore, Nisa Ernst. Nisa, it's a great to see you this morning. A Moderna approval feels very, very close. Would this, alongside the Pfizer shot, actually mean that more people could get vaccinated at a, at a quicker rate? I would hope so. The Moderna is so important because it doesn't require the refrigeration and both Pfizer and Moderna seem to have the same level of 95% efficacy. So the more ammunition we can get out there to battle this virus, the better we are. What are the precautions that people should be taking still, even after they get vaccinated? We, we are seeing images of people around the country and indeed even in other countries get vaccinated. And we know that they need one more shot in a few weeks in order for the vaccine to be fully effective. But what are the precautions that they need to be taking even if they get a vaccine? Sure, well, a vaccine does not mean that the mask and the social distancing go away. It can take up to 14 days for your body to build up immunity after your vaccination. So you're still at risk to either spread or to contract the virus. So it's very important that we, again, as a country, as a community and as a world, keep our masks and keep our social distancing certainly for the next few months. What have you seen at Johns Hopkins? Have you been vaccinated? Have others close to you been vaccinated? Give us the latest. Well, this morning, the first vaccination started for my staff. And I will tell you, they were doing this a lottery process and they truly feel as if they have won the lottery yeah. by being able to get those shots so quickly. They, I am so impressed by their tenacity and their fortitude through this entire COVID situation. And I'm so glad that the frontline staff is able to get these vaccines starting today. I'm actually really glad I was wrong. Last week you and I spoke and I said, maybe not till January. And as soon as I got the information, I thought, well, this is an early Christmas for all of us. Yeah, it's some in, in very welcome news. I mean, is, is your entire frontline staff going to be able to get the vaccine in the next few weeks? Well, again, we are doing this in, in a lottery process. We're not sure how many doses we actually have. We signed up electronically. You received a certain number designation based upon how close you are to the front line. The closer you are to the front line, the sooner you get the vaccine. And that means for everyone. That means not just for our nurses and our physicians. It means for our, our environmental care team. It means for respiratory therapists. Really, we want to get this to the front line as soon as possible. How are they feeling after taking the vaccine? So far, so good? Oh, my gosh. Again, they, they're they very excited about the fact that they may be able to go to work on a COVID unit in a few weeks and not have to suffer that fear of, am I going to take this home to my family? Am I going to transmit it to a patient? So I will tell you that I would. they are very, very grateful today. And we do know that there have been side effects uh, reported in a small number of people who've taken this vaccine thus far. Um, any experience with your staff in regard to that thus far? No, we actually spoke about that this morning. You know, we're all about transparency and communication here. And every single employee that I spoke to said, I would, the chances of that happening, I'll take that risk versus a risk of getting COVID and ending up on an ICU. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.